Okay, so got this Game Boy Color shell. Uh, I've already taken this little metal plate, which was right here, out. And uh, my plans for it are to put this little GPS-based speedometer that also has a clock function and compass. Let's see if I can uh, do this with In short, it's gonna be that. And this is what we're going to probably have as a speedometer in the uh, 24 Hours of Lemons car. And I may have another one that'll go like on the dash of the drift car so that you can see actual ground speed in uh, videos. So, anyway, I, uh, have to, I'm gonna have to cut a hole in the back for the cable to go through. Also for where the mount, cause I'm just gonna use the suction cup mount that comes with this unit. But also have to leave room in the top so that you can get to the switch here that allows you to get through the menus and everything on this unit. So anyway, let me start hacking and see if I can make this happen. So, uh, yeah, I don't have my GoPros, so this is just recorded on my phone. Don't worry about those scratches. It's a clear plastic lens protecting the screen. Can't get it to focus, but you can see right there. Uh, since there's no board or anything, the buttons here are epoxied in don't have the start and select button so there's just a black piece to block the hole off um, those are part of the board that again i don't have uh, the kit did come with this the the old on off switch which is just sitting there to plug the hole and then uh, it also came with the ir cover there's some empty you know spots but all in all, I think it's pretty neat. Got this. Uh, this is my first try. I know, you know, a few ways to make it go a little smoother next time and hopefully be a little bit cleaner, but for the first try, I really don't think this was too bad. I can, this is really... Not working real well one-handed. There we go. But there it is. And you can get to the switch here. Again, this uh, is a little rotary deal. You go side to side or press in to scroll through the menu. So you can change it from kilometers to miles per hour. You can also set it so that when you stop and it's uh, at zero, then it'll display time. Or you can have it where it just shows speed the whole time. So, pretty neat. I'm gonna go uh, set, oh, excuse me. Sorry. I'm gonna go hook it up in the truck after I let it sit here I'm going to have it hanging just to make sure that the epoxy and all has cured before I really go messing with it too much. I didn't stick it to the windshield because it was a brand new truck and I didn't want to have to clean the windshield afterwards. But all in all, this is a fun, neat little project. I'm glad it worked. And uh, thanks for taking a couple minutes of your day in to watch this.